Cyberpunk 2077 is bringing in 1 million players each day since the past four weeks, CDPR celebrates the continued interest and more. Each day this week, more than a million people have signed in to play Cyberpunk 2077, and for good reason. There's no better time than now to try or revisit 2020's most infamous video game. CD Projekt Red, the game's developer, announced the stunning statistic Wednesday, a week after the debut of Netflix's Cyberpunk, Edge Runners, an anime show based on the game that's received rave reviews from critics and fans alike. Since the Netflix show dropped, Cyberpunk 2077 has seen tens of thousands of people on Steam play it, the largest concurrent player base since the game's December 2020 launch window. Recently, we learned that Cyberpunk 2077 is enjoying its second run at fame as it surpassed Witcher with peak concurrent viewers and also became one of the top sellers on Steam. We also learned that popular personality, Sasha Gray, will voice a character in Cyberpunk 2077 DLC Phantom Liberty. Cyberpunk 2077 seems to be enjoying its time in the sun as it has recorded 1 million active players each day since the past four weeks. CD Projekt Red has announced on Twitter that they have recorded 1 million players joining each day for four weeks in a row. They have thanked the fans and players for their continued support and passion towards the title. The first year for the CD Projekt Red title has been rocky to say the least, but over time it has finally reached its potential. The contributing factors towards this fame is the recent patchwork that has made the game enjoyable. It has also added improvements to gameplay experience through the patch. Another major contributing factor to their recent success is the release of Cyberpunk 2077, Edge Runners anime. Fans have seemed to enjoy the anime and are trying to be a part of the same universe through the game. They posted the announcement with a gif of a character from Cyberpunk 2077 that recreates the iconic face expression made by Chris Pratt in Parks and Recreation. Moreover, their new roadmap announcement is another factor that is attracting players to the title. CD Projekt Red has announced that they are working on a sequel for Cyberpunk 2077, codenamed Project Orion. Moreover, the Phantom Liberty expansion for the existing title is well on its way. It's a reversal of fortunes for Cyberpunk 2077. Two years ago, the title suffered a disastrous and buggy launch after revelations that it performed poorly on consoles and didn't deliver on the many promises implied by its years-long marketing campaign. In 2020, the game was a joke. Today, it's good now is a common refrain for many players. Thank you so much chums for this second chance, tweeted Powell Sasko, CD Projekt Red's Quest director using a term that loosely translates to friend in the world of cyberpunk. Sasko has been a jovial, reassuring presence through the studio streams about updates to the game. The game also saw updates to how its side quests are doled out. Fixers, who offer jobs to cyberpunk's mercenaries, were given a linear structure with powerful, meaningful rewards at the ends of quest lines. Notes and environmental details were scattered throughout the world to give additional context to these gigs, adding more flavor and context to the player's actions. And other side quests are marked clearly on the map so players don't miss them. This was important, since the game's side stories were easily missable, but also often praised as the game's best-written content, reminders of CD Projekt Red's exemplary strength in video game narrative. And finally, Netflix's debut of Cyberpunk, Edge Runners has people clamoring to visit or revisit Night City. The show has been a powerful statement of how transmedia storytelling can be successful. Paramount's Halo TV series was blasted by many core fans for how it differed from the original product. Edge Runners not only embraces its video game roots, it bakes the architecture and layout of the game directly into the anime. The entire Night City video game world was used as the show's stage and setting, rewarding players familiar with the game. Playing the game after watching the show, in turn, feels like a continuation of the adventure. 
The show's story may have ended, but Night City persists in the virtual world of Cyberpunk 2077. This is transmedia convergence at its most powerful, coherent and cohesive in design, theme and intention, a feat that challenges even behemoths like Disney and Marvel. Edge Runners succeeds because of its adherence to the spirit of the game and its design choices. The show uses the same soundtrack and brings to the forefront several of the game's radio tracks. The song I Really Want to Stay at Your House may have been a sad but bouncy city pop track, but Edge Runners recontextualizes it forever as a hymn of mourning. Nondescript city blocks in the game now hold a certain nostalgia as memories of the Edge Runners characters flood into the player's mind.